If you found this video, chances are that you already watched several videos on the twin paradox, but still feel slightly confused. Is it the acceleration of the twin in the spaceship that makes the difference? Some outlets will tell you yes, while other outlets will tell you no. So what to believe? In this video, I'll show you exactly what happens when the twin is accelerated. And hopefully you'll feel more at ease with the paradox at the end. Welcome to the spare time physicist. The twin paradox requires no introduction. If you bump into it for the first time, then please watch one of the linked videos in the description first. In this solution, we will only use special relativity. But I have a little trick that will allow us to track the shift in time during the acceleration. So let's jump straight into it. In my version of the paradox, twin A stays on Earth while twin B flies off at 86.6% of the speed of light. This gives us a relativistic gamma factor of 2, and this means that time will be moving at half the speed for the observer in motion. Twin B will travel to a neighboring planet 3.46 light years away, and this journey will take 4 years. Let's name this planet Tatooine. Further, I'll add a row of asteroids that move in negative x direction at the same speed as the starship. The 1st of January every year, one of these asteroids will pass Earth. And since this must happen in the same way in all frames, we can use these events to keep track of the relative time. Let us first examine the situation from the perspective of twin A on Earth. Twin B leaves Earth the 1st of January 2022. She then travels for 4 years and arrives on Tatooine the 1st of January 2026. At this point, twin B have only aged 2 years due to the time dilation she experiences in this frame. She then immediately turns around her ship and flies back at the same velocity. She then arrives back on Earth the 1st of January 2030. And at this point twin A have aged 8 years, while twin B have only aged 4 years. So far, so good. Let's now jump to the perspective of the starship. On the 1st of January 2022, twin B performs the first acceleration. And watch closely what happens. The distance between Earth and Tatooine contracts to half its original length. And at the same time, the row of asteroids experiences an even greater contraction due to their higher velocity. Tatooine went from being lined up with asteroid 4 to asteroid 7. This means that 3 years just passed on Tatooine, and that it is year 2025 there, while it is still year 2022 on Earth. Remember that simultaneity is relative, as well as time and distance. When we run the simulation, we will see that the journey to Tatooine takes two years from the perspective of the starship. But on Earth and Tatooine, time is now dilated, because they are the ones in motion in this frame. As you can see, Earth lines up with asteroid 1, and Tatooine lines up with asteroid 8 upon arrival. We can therefore conclude that twin B arrives on the 1st of January 2026 Tatooine time, and that she has aged 2 years. We can also see that only one year has passed on Earth in this frame, and that it is year 2023 there. Let's now see what happens when the ship is turned around. The distance between Earth and Tatooine is first expanded during the deceleration and then contracted again during the acceleration back to Earth. But if we look at the asteroids, they are now at rest together with the starship. After the boost back to Earth, it is still year 2026 on Tatooine. But Earth is now aligned with asteroid 7, and we can conclude that 6 years has passed during this acceleration. From this perspective, the starship leaves Tatooine in Earth year 2029, and arrives back on Earth the 1st of January 2030. So even though the relative time was experienced differently in the two frames, they ultimately agree on the time of arrival and their final age. Back to the question from the beginning. Is it the acceleration that makes the difference between the two frames? Well, yes and no, depending on how you ask the question. No in the sense that the acceleration did not affect the age of twin B significantly in either of the two frames. In fact, twin A was under acceleration in the gravitational field of Earth during the whole experiment. And we didn't even consider this, since it's a local phenomenon with little effect. 
But the answer is yes in the sense that the acceleration took twin b to a different frame of reference where the time on distant planets were shifted. This shift in time is what we know as the relativity of simultaneity. And if it wasn't so, the two twins would not have agreed on the time of arrival on Tatooine and the return time to Earth. And the whole theory would break down. I hope this video cleared away some of the confusion about the twin paradox. If you liked it, then please show this channel some love by sharing, liking or subscribing. Also check out some of the other videos on the channel. This one was an exception, but usually I strive to treat topics that are not covered elsewhere. Thank you for watching.